Let's just sort of begin at the beginning um, with, with at least the question that historically has been the most controversial question here, and that is, to what degree are human beings contributing to global warming? Why don't we start with you, Mr. Gingrich? Newt, sorry. Well, well I mean, I'm not sure that's where I thought you'd start, but let me just say, <laughs> because I, I'm not sure that that's the most important question about it the environment, be. but uh, as a historian, I doubt if we know. Uh, it is probable that carbon is a risk, and I argue in contract with the Earth that because I'm a, because I'm a conservative in the traditional sense, which means avoiding stupid risks, I think we should lower the carbon impact on the planet because the truth is we don't know for sure. But I, in fact, don't know to what extent the human race contributes to climate change. And let me let me just make this observation for all of you: the sun is overwhelmingly the dominant contributor to climate. Every 75,000 years in the Triassic, which is the first part of the age of the dinosaurs, we had fundamental changes in how the Earth operated because it would shift where its magnetic pole was and it would shift the amount of radiation it was getting. We've had a very long period of sunspots having an enormous impact on climate. 11,000 years ago, the entire process of the Gulf Stream stopped. In one morning, there was no Gulf Stream. When there was no Gulf Stream, there was no gigantic oceanic conveyor of heat to Europe. When you don't get the Gulf Stream in Europe, you get an ice age. For 600 years, you had an ice age. And for reasons we don't know, the Gulf Stream started. Now, it had been there before, and it came after. The Ice Age receded. The truth is, nobody knows this stuff. And I'm always dubious when scientists behave as politicians. When you see 11,000 scientists sign something, you know it's not science, it's politics. Because science is one person telling the truth and defending it with facts. But science is not 11,000 people signing a petition. So my first reaction is, I think we should behave as though Global warming is a threat, and I think we should limit the carbon loading of the atmosphere as an act of prudence. But I couldn't possibly tell you what share of the climate we're creating, and I think it's an act of hubris on the part of humans to fantasize that they are more important than the sun. <laughs>